Many dog owners in Singapore are so busy that they might not have noticed lumps or growth on their dogs until they have grown to a very large size. As the dog grows older, tumours develop. Female dogs which are not sterilised also have a higher chance of developing breast tumours in the future. In this case study, a 13-year-old Yorkshire Terrier was brought into Topayo Vets due to rapid growth of breast tumours. The solution to the problem is to remove these tumours. This is a Be Kind to Pets educational video to bring veterinary medicine and surgery alive to vet students and pet owners. Sponsored by Topayo Vets. The owner was facing a dilemma, deciding whether to let her dog undergo surgery. On one hand, the owner was worried about the anaesthetic risk due to the old age of her dog. However, the continual growing and spreading of breast tumours would bring about great discomfort to the dog. The tumour is likely to be cancerous as it is growing fast and large in a short period of time. If not removed, the large breast cancer would become ulcerated and infected due to leaking, leading to bacterial infection. The dog will also become ill and lose her appetite. If the tumour continues to grow and develop for years, it may grow up to a very huge size as shown in this case of an 8-year-old female dog. The 2kg tumour was eventually removed. Normally, a female dog has 10 memory glands, 5 on each side of the midline beginning on the chest and extending to the groin. Memory gland tumours are one of the most common tumours in dogs. Last April, the owner was advised surgery to remove the breast tumour but the owner did not take the advice. As a result, the breast tumour has grown larger within a short period of time. The right MG5 lamb grew very large in the last 4 weeks according to the owner. There were tumours in the left MG5 too. The owner had decided to go ahead with the surgery. The vet must obtain informed consent from the owner about the risks involved in the surgery as well as to let them know the alternative treatment methods available. In this case, the owner had signed a consent form similar to the above and agreed to proceed with the stage 1 surgery. Prognosis was poor in this case as the tumour was larger than 3cm in diameter. It is rapidly growing. The tumour volume was rapidly increasing as well. Breast tumours had infiltrated the skin. Abdominal muscles might be infiltrated too. Lung x-ray and histology were advised. It was advised that the surgery to be split into two stages. The illustration shows the two stages of the surgery. During the first stage, breast tumours on the right side will be excised. A triple mastectomy will be performed on the dog. MG5 of the left and right breasts have tumours but will not be excised both at the same time as there will be insufficient skin to close the wound. Hence, the breast tumours on the left will be removed during the second stage. The surgery There are several types of breast tumour removal surgeries. The first is lumpectomy, which is a local excision of nodules that are less than 2cm in diameter. The next is simple mastectomy, which is the removal of tumours with the breast. Regional mastectomy is the removal of tumours with breast and lymph nodes. Unilateral mastectomy, which is done in this case, is the removal of ipsilateral tumours with breast and lymph nodes as you can see in this image, which shows the electro excision of the ipsilateral glands and tumours. Bilateral mastectomy is the removal of all memory tissues. There were 5 nodules of less than 1 cm detected by Vet1 who advised surgery. Lumpectomy with 1 cm margin of normal appearing tissue plus spaying the dog might have prevented recent development of fast growing and increasing volume of the 5 breast tumours. During the surgery, the caudal superficial epigastric artery is ligated twice to prevent profuse bleeding. The breast tumours had infiltrated the skin. Abdominal muscles might be infiltrated too. For the stage 1 surgery, which is a unilateral mastectomy, the superficial inguinal lymph node and tumour are removed together with the memory tissues. This is an image taken after surgery. During stage 1 of the surgery, the right breast tumours were excised. The skin flap from the thigh was used to close the large wound after excision of the right MG5 tumours. We have to remove a rotten tooth and uh, the right side has been uh, removed, MG5 to MG3, this, this is MG4, MG1 is here, this is MG1. Then the left side, MG1, MG2, there's a tumour, and the MG5, there's a big tumour here on the, on the left side. On the right side, has been removed, but you can't do 
two at the same time because there's no skin to stitch up. So you do one first, and then uh, let's say two weeks later, we do this side. This side, remove this side, and uh, this, uh, this, this small one here. At the same time, we'll take out the ovaries and the uterus. That will be the second part of the operation. After the stage 1 surgery had been successfully completed, the owner was facing yet another dilemma, deciding whether to let her dog undergo stage 2 of the surgery to remove the remaining tumours as well as the ovaries and uterus. From the vet's point of view, the ovary should be removed as the malignant cells might recur due to influence of hormones. Furthermore, it will be more difficult to do the surgery due to the lack of skin if the tumour recurs and grows. However, the owner was worried about the high anesthetic risk and was afraid that her dog may die during the surgery. So what did the owner decide to do in the end? She decided not to go ahead with the stage 2 surgery due to the anesthetic risk and brought her dog home for nursing. The owner was advised to observe the growth of these tumours every day. Should the tumours grow fast and large in a short time, the dog will have to be operated on. Tips and advices. Spaying your female dog early reduces chances of developing breast cancers. Seek early treatment to remove breast tumours when they are small.